today's video, I have a what sold on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari over the last, basically so far this year in 2024. And these are items that have flipped quickly, so I wanna kind of highlight them. Along with, at the end, I'm gonna share a couple like honorable mentions of items that have flipped recently that actually took quite a long time to sell, but then they were like good flips in the end, but they were not fast flips. So I think that's good to point out too, some of these flips or some flips we have are not fast flips. And in fact, arguably a majority are not super fast flips. So I just wanna highlight these ones that are particularly quick flips. And in this case, quick flips is like two months or under. Most of them I think are under a month. So we'll just go through and talk through them and Hopefully this is helpful. So here we go. First up is this pair of Warriors of Radness Active Surf Swim Shorts. These sold on eBay for $38. And I had listed them on December 26th and then they sold on February 6th. So they took 42 days. My profit after fees and cost of goods was $29.68. And this was a new to me brand, but I thought these shorts were really vibrant, super unique. So I did look into them when I was thrifting at the bins and decided to pick them up. So I'm happy I did. They did sell pretty quickly, even in the winter. So it's a brand I will definitely be on the lookout for moving forward. One other thing I just remembered, every single one of these flips from this video is from the Goodwill outlet, the bins. So each item, my cost of good was somewhere between one, two, three dollars right in there. I do think there was an item that's heavier that has a different cost of good, but all of these were from the Goodwill outlet and I paid by the pound for them. So something to keep in mind, these are not from regular racks, thrift stores where you do pay a little bit more typically. So just wanted to mention that. All right, moving right along. So next is this pair of frame Lahome Slim jeans in a light wash. The wash was called Dune Mirror and they were a size 33. So these sold on Poshmark for $40 and I had listed them on January 22nd, and then they sold only two days later on January 4th. So that was a very fast flip. And my profit after fees and cost of goods for this item was $28.01. Then next was this Eileen Fisher organic cotton pullover turtleneck top. This sold on Poshmark for $25. I had listed it on January 7th, and then it flipped only two days later again on January 9th. So my profit after fees and cost of goods was $18.08. .08. Highlighting the materials of this item, the fact that it was made of organic cotton, I think helped this top sell faster. If I had just put Eileen Fisher long sleeve top or something like that in the title, I don't know that it would have sold as fast. I can't exactly prove that, but just kind of speculating reasons as to why it might have sold faster. It also was a size extra large, so that could have factored into it versus if it were an extra small, there's a good chance I would still be holding on to it. So I think a few of those factors might have helped it sell. This next one I was very excited to find, and it was just kind of sitting on top of a bin, like someone had maybe thrown it back or something. It wasn't a new bin, but I grabbed it, checked it out thoroughly, looked over it at the bins to make sure there was nothing majorly wrong with it, because I was a little surprised to just see it just sitting there. Um, but anyways, it was this Decente Vintage 90s men's ski suit, skiing, snowboarding, one piece, all those keywords. And this sold for $140 on eBay. I listed it on January 19th and then it sold the next day. This one cost around $8 at the bins just because it was a bit heavy, but still after all my fees and cost of goods, my profit was $110.64. The time of year could have helped this sell very quickly just because it is prime, you know, mountain time skiing, snowboarding, but I would pick this up any time of the year and it might not sell within a day or two, but I do imagine that a vintage snowsuit any time of year would still sell at some point. So I think no matter what, if I ever find this brand and maybe just a vintage snowsuit in general, I will pick it up as long as it's in good condition because that was a very fast flip and a very, you know, high profit rewarding sale. So I will be on the lookout for those moving forward. My next fast flip was this Patagonia full zip fleece vest. This sold for $30 on Poshmark and I had listed it on January 9th and then it sold 11 days later on January 20th. My profit after fees and cost of goods was $21.82. And this one got a good amount of attention on Poshmark. I think it has 
you know, a pretty decent amount of likes and, and whatever, which doesn't always mean a ton, but something I kind of keep an eye on is how many likes certain items get and I guess what brands get a lot of likes and things like that, just because it does kind of indicate that that's an item that people want. So not that Patagonia was ever a question if people want it, but it has the Patagonia logo, it's probably going to sell. Don't mark my words on that. Just, just saying Patagonia does typically do quite well. All right, moving right along. This next one is a brand I am definitely on the lookout for when I'm out thrifting. And it was this pair of smart wool intra knit 200 wool base layer pants, thermal leggings. These sold for $35 on Poshmark. I had listed these on January 21st and then they sold the very next day. So my profit was $25 and 90 cents. And I had these listed at $50 and then a buyer had sent me an offer for 20. I countered at 35 because I decided that was going to be my lowest um, sale price for these. And they countered offered at 25 and then I held my ground on this one and countered at 35 again and then they accepted. So know the worth of your items and especially if, it's, if you just listed it, there's no reason to knock the price down that low to move it because if it's literally been a day you're probably going to get another buyer coming along right you know soon after that so hold your hold your ground on your price your lowest price especially if you just listed the item my next fast flip this year so far was this viore organic cotton full zip hoodie this sold for 40 dollars on ebay I had listed it on January 19th and then it sold seven days later on January 26th. So my profit after fees and cost of goods was $29.87. And Viore typically does sell pretty well, especially lately. But again, I think highlighting the organic cotton materials definitely could have helped this item sell quicker than if I just put Viore hoodie or something like that. So sometimes those keywords really do help or at least there's a good chance that they're helping. Like I said earlier, I can't necessarily prove that that's how this item was found, but I do think highlighting as much as you can about the item um, probably is a good idea. All right, then I sold this Johnny Was Baya embroidered cap sleeve maxi dress. This sold for $55 on Poshmark. I listed it on January 20th and then it sold 12 days later on February 1st. So my profit after fees and cost of goods was $41.90. And this dress, I kind of expected it at first to sell for a little bit more, probably closer to $70 or $80, but it did have some stains along the front that I could not get out and it had some little holes under the sleeve on one side. So because of those factors, I was willing to accept a little bit lower of an offer at $55, which is still a pretty decent flip and still left me with a great profit. But sometimes those, you know, flaws and things like that will obviously bring the value down a little bit. I was happy to kind of meet the buyer where they were willing to be. I had countered with them a little bit and they, I think, messaged me or commented on the item basically saying I don't know what to do with those stains so this is like the price I'm willing to pay for it so I did think that was a fair price I think it's good to work with the buyer especially if they're willing to spend still a decent amount on a used item you don't want to like be too stubborn or I don't know that's at least how I feel about it my next sale was over on Mercari and it was this Kula Bar sun protection pullover lightweight outdoor hoodie jacket this sold on Mercari for $32 and I had listed it on February 2nd and then it sold the next day. So my profit after fees and cost of goods was $25.25. And this was the first time I picked this brand up. First time I think I've even heard of this brand. Didn't know anything about it. Thought the item looked nice, high quality, and it had the logo. Uh, so I don't know. I just felt like it gave enough indication that it could be a good item to grab and I'm very happy that I did because it was a good sale and the only Mercari item on this list and it was a very lightweight item so it did not add too much to my total at the bins. Okay moving right along this next sale was another fast flip it was this vintage Tommy Hilfiger Y2K oversized pullover crew neck sweatshirt this sold for $27 on Poshmark 
and it only took eight days to sell. I listed it on February 3rd and it sold on February 11th. So my profit after fees and cost of goods was $19.30 and it was definitely vintage, true vintage. It was manufactured, I think it was August of, 20, of uh, 2001 and it did have some holes in the, um, the cuffs and a couple stains on it. It was definitely pre-loved but I thought that $27 sale price was fair and still left me with a good profit. So fast flip, good profit. That is what we like to see. This was this pair of Madewell, the perfect vintage jeans. These sold for $32 on Poshmark and they took 20 days to sell. I listed them on January 22nd and they sold February 11th. So my profit was $20.76. And this is a style that I am on the lookout for, and I definitely grab when I find it in good condition, the perfect vintage jeans. Um, I did sell another pair, maybe like three or four weeks ago for $28. So it's a good flip, good uh, style to be on the lookout for. My next sale was this Wild Fox Rancho oversized grunge distressed pullover sweater. And this sold for $23 on Poshmark. I listed it on January 19th and then it sold on February 11th, 23 days later. And I was left with a profit of $16.30. The buyer and I had kind of gone back and forth counter offering and then they kind of held their ground at $23 and I said, okay, that sounds good. <laughs> so I accepted that offer. Then the last of the fast flips before we move into a few flips that took a little bit longer was this Out From Under Urban Outfitters Jamie Square Neck Jumpsuit. This sold for $32 on Poshmark. I listed it on January 20th and then it sold on February 12th. So it took 23 days and left me with a $23.50 profit. This one was a full price sale, which was great. Someone just outright bought it. Every other sale that I shared in this video was from an offer one way or another me sending an offer to the buyer or the buyer sending an offer to me in some cases countering in some cases not but every other item was an offer so this was the only full price sale i had listed it under the urban outfitters umbrella and included urban outfitters in the title and in the description because it is an urban outfitters exclusive brand so that likely helped it sell better than if it were just listed under out from under I do think that typically does help, but again, I cannot prove it, but just, I guess, a speculation, a speculatory observation, I don't know. All right, then a few flips that did take longer to sell, but I do think they're still good flips and worth sharing, slash a good reminder that some sales do not happen fast. In fact, they take quite a while, but I still think I want to point these ones out. So the first one was this Talbot's Vintage Wool Blend Blazer Jacket. This sold for $38 on Poshmark and I had listed this back in November of 2022 and then it sold 453 days later on February 3rd, 2024. Um, so my profit after fees and cost of goods was $28.26. This next one was a Patagonia quarter zip hiking outdoor long sleeve pullover top. This one sold for $30 on Poshmark and left me with $21.64 in profit, but it took 235 days to sell. So I had listed that back in June of 2023 and then it sold like two weeks ago, maybe a week ago. 235 days later. Alrighty, and then lastly is this pair of Hoka 1-1 Bondi 7 running shoes. So these sold for $48 on Poshmark and I listed these in February of 2023. They took just over a year to sell. They took 367 days. I shared this pair of shoes in my inventory audit video where I went through all my inventory, decided what to you know, keep to flip, what to donate, what to bring to buy, sell, trade store. So in that I had said I was just gonna donate these shoes cause I'm kind of over flipping shoes at this point slash it's just hard to store them I guess, but for me. But I decided to hold out a little bit longer and see if they would sell just because these this brand is so popular that I was thinking how are these not gonna sell eventually? So I just decided to hold off and I'm really glad I did because they ended up leaving me with 34.61 in profit. 
which is obviously much more than I would have made if I donated them. So I was glad I just kind of stuck it out, but that was not a fast flip. I was expecting them to take, to be a quicker flip when I did grab them, because I knew at that point even that Hoka's were popular, but they took over a little over a year to sell. We'll, we'll say a year, basically one year to sell, but they did sell. So if you don't mind holding on to items for a little bit, you can be left with a good profit. And arguably I could have done more to help those sell with better keywords and you know, maybe lowering the price a little bit over time, things like that, but hey, I don't know. They did eventually sell. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and please let me know if you liked this kind of video. I think it's helpful to see what other people are selling and what's selling for other people. I don't know if you could see Nellie at all. She's down here taking a little nap, but hopefully you enjoyed her company too. My next video is gonna be one that's been very highly requested, so be on the lookout for that. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you in my next video.